everybody uh we got a call right now that we're going to uh it's a police call for an abandoned vehicle and uh so our couple of other drivers are already there they went in a flatbed but uh, once they sent me pictures of what it is it's gonna be a little bit too complicated for a flatbed um i'll i'll probably have to uh winch the vehicle sideways again using it the same method i did with the honda crv and use a tree to pull it up sideways up on the road this will be a little bit different however because it's a f-250 so it's a lot more weight i'll be pulling up the hill um, so there's a little bit more potential for things to go wrong um, but anyway i'm on my way right now it should take me a little bit before i get there and then um i'll let you know what's going on Well, everybody here we are and uh, this is the situation uh, as you can see from up there I did slip a little bit trying to get down the driveway here pretty steep drop off right there I got the one on over there on that tree. I'm gonna get this one on this tree. I just wanted to show you guys all the hook points I'm at right now before I start pulling. None of these outlines are under any pressure right now. They're all loose. I just tighten them up so you can see the angles and where they're pointing to. Uh, so we got the first line down there to the low hook. See that there? And it's wrapped around the tree, back to the truck. Um, so that'll give me the front pull I need upward. Go under here. I got this back one hooked up to the tree like that. And it goes down, remember none of these are under any pressure, so no real danger at the moment. Uh, and it's through the uh, trailer hitch, uh, through that tool I like to use. I forget what it's called at the moment, but uh, I'll let you guys know sometime. Hey everybody. So uh, I kind of messed up the recording part of the recovery process itself. Uh, I wasn't paying attention to which uh, direction the camera was looking as I was winching the vehicle up. But uh, I just want to let you guys know. So basically what I tried to do first was pull the front end of the truck, but it weighed too much. So 
it actually turned the back end of the truck down, downward towards the hill. Uh, so that didn't work. So what I went to next is I pulled the back end of the uh, pickup up onto the road first, which removed some of the, uh, I guess some of the resistance under the middle of the truck. Once the back one was up into the middle, I could pull the front end up right into the road uh, partially. And then from there, the resistance is gone. So then I can pull the back end up into the middle of the road and then the front end up in the middle of the road all the way. So I can back up the truck right to the front end, pick it up and go. But I uh, just wanna let you guys know since I kind of messed up the uh, recording of that. Now the next thing I wanna check before I start moving around too much, make sure the brake is on and it's holding. Uh, before I move any of the cables off the truck because I don't want it rolling down this hill. So it did come out pretty good there. Although uh, my truck did slide a little bit. So I might have to throw in the four-wheel drive to get out of here. Now uh, you always want to put one extra line on here. It's a safety line. Because I'm going to take off that snatch block off to this other hook. And just in case, let's say the brakes don't work or something like that. We don't want this car rolling away. This is our safety. And uh, Luckily, I did release it a little bit and it does look like the brakes are holding, so I'm not too worried about it, but it's good to have one while I'm working around it. All right, so I'm hooked up to it now. And we're gonna try to get out of here. Hopefully we can. I'm not stop until I get this thing out of here though. This road is super mushy and we're sliding all over a little bit. Oh, that's scary. Oh, man. <laughs> we did, the whole truck and the truck on the back just slid over to the side. I don't know if you saw that, but holy, that was scary. All right, I think we're gonna make it, but the car on the back is like sliding sideways at the moment. All right. Not gonna stop until we're out because we might get stuck if I stop. Okay, okay, okay. Keep it straight, keep it straight, keep it straight. Okay. Okay. Keep it going, keep it going. Oh man. Whew. All right, we got out. Oh man. Woo. I'm sweating now. Man. We got it on the truck there with some help from Nestor and uh, got it on dollies and out of there. All right, everybody. But yeah, we got it. Uh, that, that was pretty scary. That one wasn't too bad of a recovery. Uh, for the winches anyway. Uh, it actually worked out great for the two winch points from the trees. It came out just the way I planned it. Uh, the difficulty was um, that road was just a dirt mud road. And I didn't show this in part of the video, but when I was backing down the road, uh, I was sliding a little bit towards the hill. So I had to recenter and then back down again. So I was really nervous about uh, once I hooked up to the truck, because it's an F-250, so it's pretty heavy. Uh, just how it would affect uh, being attached to my truck trying to get out of there. Um, luckily, Nestor, another one of our, our drivers here and our service manager for the repair shop, he stopped by because he actually lives here in Cascade Locks. And uh, he gave me a hand by sitting in the truck. And uh, just in case uh, I were to slide backwards, he can hit the brake and also help me slow down because uh, once you start going with the truck on the back end, you don't have a lot of braking power. So I told him once I start going, I'm not going to stop because if I stop, I don't know if I'll be able to get going again. And I don't want to have to back up down that hill to re-straighten out. So uh, when I finally hit the gas pedal, I spun a little bit. And then as you see in the video, the steering wheel is just jumping back and forth. The pickup actually slid sideways for a moment there. And uh, Nestor was in the back. He said he was about getting ready to jump out of the truck. Uh, but that was actually pretty scary because I could feel the truck. Um, my wrecker, as I'm driving, sliding towards the edge of the hill. And looking in my mirror, I can see the F-250 go completely sideways with the front end still attached to my truck and the back end sideways going towards the ditch. Uh, luckily, 
with my truck straight, eventually the F-250 straightened out and we were able to get it back into the road. But, oh man, my heartbeat was going pretty good. N Nessa was pretty scared too, but luckily we got it. He helped me put the dollies on the truck and uh, we're gonna get it to the police impound yard here shortly. But uh, that worked out really cool and uh, definitely a great teaching moment for uh, new drivers coming along. Thank you for watching and uh, I'll get back to you soon. See ya.